Today we will talk about cognitive appraisal according to the transactional model of stress. Cognitive appraisal can be split into primary and secondary appraisal. Let's start with primary appraisal. When we first encounter a potentially stressful event, first we try to assess the meaning of the situation for our well-being. For example, let's say during a safari tour, the jeep you are in breaks down and you see a lion close by. The primary appraisal of this situation will seek answers to the questions such as, what does this mean to me? Will I be okay? Your primary appraisal could give you one of three judgments. It's irrelevant. It's good, also known as benign positive. It's stressful. In our case, we would obviously appraise it stressful and it will lead to further appraisal. Possible implications are harmless, threat and challenge. Harm loss refers to the amount of damage that has already occurred. In our case, let's say the lion has already reached the jeep and bitten off one of our legs. That could be considered harm. Next, threat involves the expectation of future harm. So let's say at this point, the lion is walking toward our jeep. That would be considered future harm to us. So it's a threat to us. Finally, the challenge is the opportunity to achieve growth, mastery, profit by using more than routine resources to meet a demand. In our case, if we decide to fight the lion like Idris Elba in the movie Beast, it could be considered a challenge. So after the primary appraisal of the situation, secondary appraisal takes place. Secondary appraisal refers to our assessment of the resources we have available for coping. In our situation, we could, for example, realize we can contact the tour guide and he's just a few minutes away with a tranquilizer gun that could help us cope with the situation. 